Hello YouTube, today we are checking out a deck by Riley Hicks. This is a deck he was dominating the SCG scene with. I think he took it to a 6-0 finish in his satellite event that he was doing very well from what I was seeing in the main Sunday tournament. So Jeskai Tempo. The crux of the deck here is that we are playing a bunch of cheap instants and sorceries that we're going to be able to both get back to our hands with Lord Dracus and or cast for free with Vadrock. And we're going to get all sorts of added value out of that from Showdown of the Scalds or from Goldspan Dragon, which is going to give us treasure whenever we target the Goldspan with any of our cheap spells. And in order, and I guess a lot of these things too, they have flying. So we're going to be able to both affect our opponent's board with some removal, with some buffing, um, or uh, bouncing, I should say. And then we'll be able to just fly overhead and kill our opponents rapidly. Now, what's in the sideboard of this deck? So there's a couple of Hushbringers for all those pesky ETB effects. And then we also have Fire Prophecies and Cinderclasms, some great removal for the kind of go-wide decks or decks that have particular threats that are just hard to deal with, maybe your Anaxes or something. And then we have Into the Royals, so as you can bounce things, negate for more control matchups against your ultimatums and whatnot. Phoenixes of Ash, of course, for your rogue matchups, and then Everquill Phoenix, any kind of thing, any kind of deck rather that might uh, have a lot of removal, you can maybe bring this in and mutate onto Vadrock or something else and get a whole host of mutate triggers. But that's the deck. Let's see how it plays. Ooh, this looks like a clean mulligan. <laughs> One land. Okay, this looks better. Question of what to send it back. Thinking it might be the Lord Dracus. Oh, this does provide another mutate trigger for Vadrock. Yeah, I think we just send back the Dracus though. Gold Span's gonna be something that we can work towards. And I think it's gonna be probably pretty important for this deck. But I could see putting back Gold Span there. Maybe that maybe that's right. But whatever case, we're gonna start with the Triome. Get our tap land out of the way. Opponent might be on Rakdos. Yep, Rakdos Recursion, it looks like. Okay, then mill two. Friend is Showdown. Still not doing anything. <laughs> Still not doing anything. Uh, but of three, of course, we have either Prismari Command or uh, Vadrock. We can run out. Fine Strike is interesting. I think we run the pathway out as a white source. We can play Vadrock if we want to. I think now we just hold all that we have. Probably just going to cast Prismari Command, killing your Triton or something, making a treasure. Could end up getting... Uh, this isn't a counter. It's not like, is it charm, right? So we just take the take the damage. Okay, and we'll crack the Fable Passage. Sure. Now we pass the turn. I'm gonna play Zalanth. Run out the Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. Yeah, there's something else they can do. It might be um it might be a village rights. But we'll see. Yeah, okay, they have village rights. I draw a couple cards. I get a treasure though. Go to my turn. And a tap land. Okay. Maybe we just play out Badrock. Next turn we play uh, Goldspan. Attack with the Dragon and set up for a showdown. Opponent eyeing Badrock though. Might have a kill spell. Any th number of things would hit it. From Eliminate to Heartless Act. So it's pretty vulnerable right now. They are seeing that I have one mana up. Eyeing my treasure token. Looking at my graveyard. Deciding what to do perhaps. But I hope it is nothing too unfortunate. The good thing though about Vadrak is that it does have first strike, so it can block the Bone Crusher with impunity unless they have like a buff or something. Okay, I guess they may have forgotten about the, <laughs> the first strike. I was thinking they might have like an Embercleave, because they could have done that there, and then they would like trade. But okay, opponent plays Stimmer, calls the dead. They mill three. Hitting an Immerstrom Predator with a mill. 
They didn't make a zombie token. Like Croxa. Sure. Plenty of stuff in their graveyard. We just pitched Defiant Strike. And another bad rock. I think we just run out the gold span. Start hitting in the air. Getting some more mana. The play next turn is probably gonna be to get Croxa back. We have to be careful of just getting run over by these zombies. That's something that could happen. Also, even if they do recur Croxa, they start hitting us for six in addition to these zombies. But instead, they run an Emerson Predator. Okay, interesting. I guess they can block, sack something, give the Predator indestructible. Um. But could just jam here. I think we're just gonna go for it. Get the treasure tokens. Make them eat their zombies. I guess you probably should just run out showdown. So we go to eight. Run out showdown. We could hit another land. This also kind of caches us out of the gold span getting removed, us losing that double mana. So we use our mana effectively in that sense. We run out the pathways of red source. Make it easier to mutate and badrock if we want. Um, I think we can supply instantiate on uh, um, unsubstantiate on their turn, right? I don't think there's anything against it. Yeah. So we can't bounce their predator if they choose, or it could bounce Croxa if they escape it. I think, the, I think the play is, is just to bounce the Predator, unless something crazy happens. Because we have 7 damage on the board, we have a Phoenix we can cast from the Exile Zone off of Showdown. That would be 9 damage in the air, and if we draw land we can even pump the Phoenix. Well, I guess because Goldspan is going to be attacking, we're going to get another treasure, so we have 2 more mana, so we can even pump the Phoenix. Okay, opponent runs out Croxa, they escape it, sure. Um, we'll pitch a bad drug because we have one over here. If they have a removal spell, if they attack with Immersion Predator. Oh, and we're even going to get counters from stuff, from um, the Scalds. If we just play two things, then they uh, we have lethal anyway. Okay, but they play Woe Strider, and that, that should seal the deal, right? I don't see how they can possibly get out of it now. Uh, we'll just unsubstantiate the Predator, so they don't get to exile something and get another counter on it. Okay, and it can hit me for two, but that's not going to be good enough. And uh, yet another bad rock. Alright, take down game one. So, what do we have here? <laughs> Hushbringer is interesting. It would stop Crox's ETB, but of course, that's a double-edged sword. It would stick around. Probably not all that great. I don't think Cinderclasm is intended here, or is uh, going to be very good. Evercool Phoenix could be okay. Curse of Threat, if they bring in more removal or more hand hate or something. Or maybe some of these Phoenixes. Fly over Croxa. Yeah, but we take out the disputes. Bring in a couple of phoenixes. We want to bring in this one. 
Spike field hazard, I think, is going to do work, though. So I'm glad we have at least some ways to exile stuff. But yeah, I don't know that Rakdos is taking up a lot of people's sideboards these days. I think this hand is keepable because we have See the Truth. And I suppose sees the spoils as well, but they should let us find something. First opponent starts with a tap Shatter Skull Smashing. Let's see if they have a 2-drop. They do. They have a Croxa. They're going to pitch a land. Run out and see the truth. Maybe find a gold span Dragon. That's some action. The Heat of Phoenix. That's something we can do next turn. Although, I mean, see the spoils could be just okay here. Expressive iteration. I want to start dealing damage. We're going to start just dealing damage. This could also eat a removal spell that would be destined for Goldspan Dragon. So it could make it tougher for them to uh, punish that. We go with that on turn 5. They do have two Croxes in their graveyard, though, and five cards their total, so only one away from escaping something. Yeah, it is a red cap melee, so that could have killed the Goldspan. And the attacks for two. Find a bad rock. Three mana up though, conspicuous. Conspicuous uh, amount of mana to be held in reserve. I think we're just gonna run out bad rock though. Again, it's gonna potentially eat some removal for this gold span, which could be even better. But okay, they don't do anything with their mana. They did us something they could have done. Curious. Maybe it was... I don't know, because any removal spell that could have hit Vadrock there, I think, could have hit. Okay, so they had a, a Crone War. Maybe they do have removal, but they're saving it. They attack for four. Lord Dracus. The trick here is that if we play something out, we're going to have to attack with it. And the dragon's going to like, kill itself. Laundry, indeed. Which one do we want? I guess we want the Prismari command. So this is a slightly greedier play here, not playing out the pathway and um, using the command to take down one of these zombies. See if it comes back to bite me. Going to four, it's pretty low. Crone War is potentially going to be good against me. They play Woe Strider. Okay, let's just go next. They can sack my Vadrock, they're going to escape Croxa, so that was less than ideal. Now that I'm feeling the Defiant Strikes there. We're putting in the gate for those Crow and Wars. Game number three. Let's see if we can't bring it home. Okay, opponent. Mulligan once. We have two Prismar commands. An expressive iteration. So we got some stuff that's going to be vying for our T. Uh, three play. We could either run out the Phoenix or Expressive Iteration and then try to find another land. Or we could just see just Prismari Command. So there's that too. I think we are just going to go for Expressive Iteration on three. Or, yeah, on, on three. Uh, two, okay. So we just play out the pathway. 
pass the turn. Then we can use the Fable to grab our second red source for Phoenix. Okay, opponent though, they played a tap land in this Fable passage. So that's very nice for us. They're not very aggressive at all. Perhaps they got a slow mulligan to hand. And we actually don't get a land. <laughs> Awkward. Which do we want the most though? I think Vadrak. Awkward is right. I'm gonna play as a Wolf Strider. Yep. And substantiate's interesting. We just use Prismari uh, command to snipe Wolf Strider, do some looting, or make a treasure. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of about that. We saw that before that they had that a Crone War, and I'm just scared of playing Vadrock, them a Crone Warring it. You know, hitting me and then sacking, um, sacking it to Woe Strider. We take the three here. I think we don't. If they end up using village rights on Woe Strider, that's okay. Okay, but they don't. They don't even sacrifice their token. Just curious. Hey, Proxa, sure. Now I think we pitch the Phoenix. Okay, let's see if they have something with one mana. They don't. Uh, they might have. They might have that red cat melee. But okay, we find Defiant Strike. But we're gonna crack Fable Passage. We're gonna get red, both so we can mutate Bad Rock and so we can play Goldspan. And any future Goldspans we get. Okay, they play red cap melee. Um, can Defiance Strike? We can do a lot here. We can Defiance Strike, play Prismari, deal two, and then play uh, Unsubstantiate. But I think we just Defiance Strike first. Bounce the red cat. And if they target it again, I guess we can Prismari Command, get more mana or something. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of that to uh, escape Phoenix, so that's gonna be nice. Care though. I think we just say go for it. They're gonna be able to use Red Cat Melee on Phoenix, but we're gonna be able to escape it twice already, so should be fine. Seize the spoils. Well, actually, we don't have waste recur thing, so these are things that absolutely aren't going to help uh, in any way, shape, or form. So now we'll see if they use the red cap on the phoenix. They do, sure. Um, I'm just going to run a bad rock. Escape Phoenix again next turn. One plays a Crow in War, taking Badrock once more. 
That's okay. We just pass. We could escape Will Strider. Then eat Bad Rock with Will Strider. Oh, we can't really do much to stop that. Okay, they play Timber Calls the Dead. Interesting. So if they want a token, they're gonna have to exile one of their escape things. Choose not to, interesting. Um We just did my turn. Not a gold span. We just play it, don't attack with it. No, I guess play it post combat. That's the trick. Let me get my Vadrak back, hopefully, unless they have a Village Rites as their last card, which <laughs> would be unfortunate, no doubt. But they're eyeing Village Rites. Okay, it's a Shredded Sail, so that was their last card. So they kill my poor dragon. We do get Vadrak back, and we have another one waiting in the wings. Next turn we can crack in for seven, theoretically. And then we also have the backup follow-up play of just getting Phoenix of Ash back from the graveyard. Okay, opponent escapes Croxa. Sure. We're gonna pitch a seize the spoils. So we could unsubstantiate Croxa, save some life. This is cast, right? Yeah. So we play Goldspan, mutate Lord Dracus. Under. I guess they can escape Kraxa again, but doing this is, uh... Oh no, I messed it up. Ah! This way we can at least cast Unsubstantiate still. Okay, they attack for 8th. Pitch Prismari Command. Go to 9. Play Croxa. Let's bounce it to their hands. Play Croxa and take three. Okay. Good game, opponents. Okay, a little punt from me there, but we took it home. Okay, I go first. It's like a decent hand. Iteration, see the truth, Dracus. So I'll definitely see the truth on turn two. And then hope to, you know, iteration on T3. Opponent on Yaspira Sentinel, they're probably some kind of 
Naya go wide, Naya adventures. Trying to want my hand. Hazard, I guess. They do have like an innkeeper, I'd want to get rid of that. Magda. Probably works too. I play an innkeeper, okay. So doing iteration here is actually a bit risky, because if I iteration and don't find a red source, they can get a lot of innkeeper value. They are getting mana every turn though, just by having Magda around. I think we just spike field hazard the innkeeper. Because they have mana, but they might not have cards. Probably like a love struck beast or something. Let me run out the pathway. Play another see the truth. Take the defiant strike, I guess. Next turn we can run out Badrock. And like mute it onto it. And they have another innkeeper. Okay. So they're teamer. Ah, uh, this might be the like sandy dog. Oh, this could be transmogrified. There's too many junk creatures here. It's like just like teamer adventures or something. Well, we have plenty in the sideboard for the cinder clasms, fire prophecies, all that kind of good stuff. Oh, we're just gonna run up bad rock. Get some defense up. Something that's gonna be hard for them to stomp away. Getting quite some mana though. That's scary. Shatter skull. Yeah, well, that'll do it. I hit me for eight. Oh, it's looking grim. <laughs> May Ember clear? Okay. I don't know what this deck is, but uh, it's nonsense and I don't like it. Okay. This stuff's so cheap, I feel like Insubstantiate's gonna be fairly bad. Ushbringer is interesting. Though it wouldn't stop Innkeeper, because that's whenever you cast a spell with adventure, you draw a card. Yeah, this looks better. Much more removal. Hopefully, that's going to be enough. Hopefully that well-placed Cinderclasm will seal the deal. Okay. Play first. Okay, we have some removal this time. Also Vajrak and all three colors. We don't have to hunt for that. This looks much better. Alright. There's the Aspirus Sentinel. Head him out and pass the turn. Play Magda. We'll kill the Sentinel. Do you want to put anything away? Probably not. Let's run out of Badrock. Can mutate onto it next turn too. And now this time they should have more trouble killing Badrock the turn I play it. <laughs> I don't have 12 mana to give a good Shatter Skull to Bad Rock. Okay, so they play Ketri Triumph. Let's see if they attack here. Play Rimrock Knight. Probably not choosing not to. Okay, so what we can do is play the Pathway as white. So if we play Defiant Strike. card, Prismari Command. We can use Prismari Command to kill 
Ag done. Or we can mutate Lord Dracus. Defiant Strike as well. Put it under so we maintain the power. Okay, I'm gonna not mess it up this time. Cast Fire Prophecy. We're gonna get back Defiant Strike. Snipe Magda. Maybe we just decline again. Defiant Strike on Badrock. Find another Lord Dracus, okay. That was nice. They have Crow in War. It's not so nice. Old Span Dragon. I think we just pass the turn. Prismari Command, kill Rimrock. And Magda. Okay. Two damage, make a treasure. Kill the Rimrock. Give myself the treasure. Okay, they don't get treasure on attacking then. They're probably going to. Yep, maybe for three, we go to 14. They do anything post combat. Okay, the keeper. Okay. Alright. We did last time. We're gonna go to the post combat. We're gonna play the dragon. Gonna get Badrock back. Or poised to swing for seven in the air. And even more if you wanna go with Phoenix. And play Heart's Desire, Love Shark probably. And get their card of the gamekeeper. Okay. So we could just mutate onto Vadrock. We could Define Strike. That would deal one, and then we could mutate. It's a question of if we can kill them here. I don't think we can. I think maybe if we had more mana, we could. But I think with what we have, I don't think it's possible. But at me in the comments if I if I miss lethal by all means. Okay. So many choices. Brain exploding. Oh wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so that's nine. Okay, I think we can now win because we can mutate and have one of those spells in the graveyard deal damage to my opponent. Oh, okay, so we found the line it looks like. And and we use Lord Dracus on Vadrock to play Prismari Command from the graveyard. And have it do two damage to my opponent. Okay, have to be careful of these triggers. Okay. Okay, they see it. They they can see it. So, took game two. Took game two in a game that felt much closer. And we only saw one piece of removal, right? I guess one piece that we sighted in, I should specify. Do I want to trade anything else up? I don't know, it still doesn't really feel like a... Well, that much more to sideboard in. I think I sideboarded fairly aggressively this time. Bring in the fire prophecies, the cinderclasms, all that good stuff. Speaking of cinderclasms, we are well prepared this time. So I'd probably go see the truth on turn two, maybe kick cinderclasm on turn three. Might strain the mana base a bit, because it's going to mean if we want to do this, we need double red. So be it. Start with the mountain. Delay the decision as long as we can. We don't have an answer to this sentinel, so they could Magda tap it. Play Innkeeper, okay. Rimrock, okay. The Cinderclasm here I think probably is worth it just to turn off 
the innkeeper. You can kill the rimrock. Little risky play here doing this, but I think preserving the other pathway to be uh, a red source is going to be more beneficial. Because next turn we can wipe Yespir, Sentinel, and whatever they play. Okay, but they don't play anything actually, they just hit me. That's fine. We'll see the truth when we find a uh, land. Ooh, showdown, huh? Showdown or a land. I think we just take the land. It's gonna get us closer to actually playing Goldspan. It's a safer play. Opponent doesn't really seem like they're doing much. They have the pathway here. That's the turn. Probably gonna fire Prophecy, whatever they have. He's got rid of one of these Defiant Strikes. Or I could even just like cycle them on my opponent's creatures after they attack. Kinda of funny. An Elder Gargaroff. That is a thing, huh? Don't find a land or a counterspell. We can kick this. We get another red source. We can kick this and uh, fire prophecy. Get rid of it. Don't get another red source. But I guess if we, yeah, we, if we just... Get attack with gold span. No double defiant strike on it. That would net me two mana so we could then fire prophecy or something. Drawing two cards. Elder Gargroth is going to be a problem. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the deck that would really help stop it, but I think the best bet is just uh... I don't even know. Playing the Triome, I guess, passing the turn. Could have been said played Goldspan, and then next turn like attacked and done all that. Three, but a ten. And they play another one. <laughs> ah! Well, at least kill one of them. I guess I don't play was just dumb. For some reason, I thought the uh, the Cinderclasm would deal three, but no. Nah, even then, totally just stopped by Elder Gargaroth. Well, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the games as much as I did. And if you have been liking what you've been seeing, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.